Now we got double XP week up until the 30th. It's exclusive to the fourth inning program because the 30th we do go ahead and receive the fifth inning program. Now I got a couple of methods that will go ahead and help you finish that fourth inning program if you haven't finished it already like myself. And the first method is going to involve exhibition mode. We're gonna be going into the create and then into the vaults. Now shout out to my boy Light Skin Chris. We are going to be using his roster. I'm gonna leave his link inside the description. So make sure you guys go ahead and show some love. First thing you're gonna do is go into the sort, go to the left once, press sort once again, and then, well, I actually went into logo. So that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about pressing R1 and going into roster. And then it's already set there, downloads descending. And you're gonna be using LSC XP Grind 2. It has 99 overall Philadelphia Phillies players and then zero overall Rangers players. Now, obviously, if you wanted to create your own roster, you could. I'll teach you how to do that as well so you don't have to worry about it. But all that I ask in return is that you hit that like button or that subscribe button, how to become a member, Discord link, socials, and my secondary YouTube channels are all inside the description box. And we stream each and every single day at 1 a.m. Eastern. Now what I'm currently waiting for is for this message to appear. An unhandled server exception occurred. Don't worry about it. The roster still went ahead and downloaded for you. You can go ahead and check by going into load and then pressing rosters, check and save rosters, and you will see roster vote LSC XP grind 2 did in fact download. You're gonna go ahead, load it up, back out, and go into your settings. And what I would do is I would save as a new preset and then create from the current a simulation and then just rename it simulation. So for gameplay settings, you're gonna most likely want to have rookie hitting difficulty. For pitching, rookie, and then the pitching interface you're gonna wanna be using is classic. And then for fielding, you want fielding decisions to be auto so the CPU can go ahead and do it. And the same thing for throwing decisions. And then last but not least, just make sure that in general, it is simulation and that for presentation, you have fast play and then the pitch selection cameras are at none. And then I turned off everything else just to make the game run a whole lot smoother. Once you have all of that settled down, you're gonna drop all the way down to exhibition and away, you're gonna have to put the Philadelphia Phillies because we want the Texas Rangers to be at home. So we have a designated hitter and our pitcher does not hit. Now you're gonna want to put the Texas Rangers first unless the Philadelphia Phillies are your favorite team. And the reasoning behind it is because MLB The Show always brings it back to whoever is your favorite team whenever you toggle over an exhibition game. Now, the stadium that I would be using is Forbes Field because even if they do go ahead and for some reason hit a shot, it is most likely not leaving. Now, Zach Wheeler is the one that has Darren O'Day's delivery, but if you truly wanted to, you could go inside his rosters through roster control and change the delivery for Aaron Nola as well. Once we enter the game, you will see that Every single hitter has a 99 overall, and that Zach Wheeler is a 99 overall as well. We're gonna press X or hold X to skip, and I did not player lock him. So that is a mistake on my behalf. Let me teach you all how you can go ahead and player lock, because if you do not player lock, you're gonna be hitting, and that is something you do not want to do. So in order to not player lock, you just have to press R2 whenever you do go ahead and see Zach Wheeler. As I missed, the Texas Rangers so a little delay but it's perfectly fine we're gonna go back to the Phillies go to the road go ahead and press Forbes once again turn quick counts on and then you want to press R2 on that Zach Wheeler so you can player lock him once you see that icon that means that he is player locked and then we're just simply gonna go ahead and advance into the game each game should take you at most six minutes if i'm being honest with you all and you should be gaining from each game 5.9k experience maybe 6k experience if you're really lucky and just get yourself over 20 strikeouts which you should be really lucky at the end of the day since these guys are all one overalls they're really not anything in specific that should be scary and you'll see how much we get for one inning of just striking out the entire side hopefully Joey Gallo shouldn't be that hard to strike out. And the reason we have quick counts on as well is to just make the pitching a whole lot easier and not have to worry about too much. Joey Gallo is gonna strike out on the screwball. You can bet your money on that. So we got 540 for three strikeouts. And I'm telling you, this is most likely gonna take most of you guys 
five minutes you can go ahead and stack it up by pressing confirm restart i personally like pressing confirm exit because sometimes mlb the show disconnects you randomly and i want to make sure that i get the experience so that is the one way you can do it where you just go ahead and download light skin chris's rosters if you would like to go ahead and create your own rosters then just go into roster control go to create a player go and put whatever pitch types you want the player to have and then raise all the attributes to 99 and if you want to raise all the hitting attributes you can go ahead and do that once you finish just press the options button go to free agent pool and export player name the player 99 sp you can create a 99 overall pitcher and a zero overall pitcher for your opponent and then you can do the same thing for a hitter just go into general and make sure you change the position being played from starting pitcher to catcher and you can create a 99 overall catcher and a 90 and a zero overall catcher as well once you do have those players saved up you can go ahead and let's say make the baltimore orioles have a team full of 99s so for every hitter you would replace them by going into import position player and importing the 99 overall catcher and then for every pitcher you would be importing the 99 overall starting pitcher if i wanted to make the oreos the zero overall team for every single hitter i would be importing the zero overall catcher and then for every single pitcher i would be importing the zero overall pitcher now the second method that you can go ahead and use and be careful because you don't want to exit without saving the roster once you go ahead and basically create the 99s and create the zero overalls make sure you guys go ahead and press save custom roster and then you name it like 99 oreos and zero overall yankees if that's what your roster is now the second method is going to involve two controllers and it's a much more effective method it caps out at around 450 runs so what i would do is i would score 50 runs or i would intentionally walk in 50 runs but you do need two controllers for this so if you have a ps4 controller just download mlb the show 21 ps4 version and then connect your controller via usb and you're going to be good to go so what we're going to do here is you want to make sure it is still on your account on your primary account so we're going to enter diamond dynasty and then we're going to back out once again yes we are on our primary account but i'm not sure why i have zero stubs so let me go into the marketplace okay i just wanted to be 100 percent sure that i didn't lose the stubs you're going to go into exhibition and you're going to make your main controller the away team and then the secondary controller the home team you're going to be using the same simulation settings that we used previously you're going to select dodger stadium you're going to turn quick counts on and then it doesn't matter who pitches none of that matters at all you're just going to advance you're going to put down your main controller listen to me carefully you're going to put it down and then you're going to grab your secondary controller with your secondary controller after you go ahead and skip this cinematic right here all you're simply going to be doing is pressing l1 and then x and you're going to do this for 50 runs i believe it caps out at around 450 runs or something along those lines someone leave it down in the comment section how many runs it caps out on so i can go ahead and pin that comment and also give you guys a heart but all you do is intentionally walk now for both this method and the 99 overall strikeouts exhibition games the xp might not be shown instantly being displayed inside your inning program sometimes it takes like 30 minutes for it to go through the server sometimes all you have to do is go into custom practice a couple of times and sometimes all you have to do is play a diamond dynasty moment or something along those lines so just know it will not be automatic i'm gonna do this for five minutes in five minutes which i've already done it because i wrote it down i got myself roughly 6.9 k xp and i walked in 50 runs if you guys are paying a lot more attention than I did because I was doing other things, you can probably walk in a lot more than 50 runs within those five minutes and get yourself a lot more than just 6.9 K XP, almost 7 K XP. But for example, we're just going to take these 10 runs right here and call it a day. So what I like to do is I like to bunt with my main controller and then send everybody home so we can have automatically a triple play and just call it a day. So we got in total 11 runs right here. We bunted on the top left. You see, we got 1.2K right there for those 11 runs. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my main controller and I'm just gonna press confirm exit and you're gonna see the XP being displayed. But that's something you also want to do. That's like a little hack to make sure you are guaranteed to get that experience. We got 1.2K from just 11 runs. So clearly as you get more runs, it keeps adding up. 
if you did end up enjoying today's content please make sure to hit that like button or a subscribe button check out everything inside the description box and we got some more xp methods that don't involve playing against the cpu through exhibition coming very soon near you so make sure you stay tuned have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all in the next one peace out